This video is about the Sony PVM-9044QM, also known as the 8044Q in North America. The two monitors in front of us are the same model by number, however they do have a slight variation in features. You may have observed that the monitor on the right has a green power button where I'm pointing to on the right corner of the screen. Whereas the one on the left has the more common grey coloured power switch. The green power button can be seen on a number of Sony's professional and broadcast monitors over the years. They included it on a few models. This BVM here, as you can see, has got the green power button. We can even see it in this old 9-inch BVM from the 80s with the green power button. This is part of the range that preceded the 9044QM that we're reviewing today. The 9044QM belongs to a family of monitors. These PVMs pictured include the 9044QM on the rightmost side featuring a 450-line CRT. The monitor in the middle is the 9041QM which has a 250-line CRT with almost identical specs elsewhere. Finally, the monitor on the left is the 9040ME a very basic entry-level monitor. Click on the link above to see my review. Last, there is also the 6041QM, which is worth mentioning, because like the other three, there are versions of this monitor that also feature the green power button. The 9041 and the 9040ME, all with green power button versions. Another very small difference between the old green power switch monitors is that some of them have the HR in a blue colour printed on the bezel, whereas the newer sort with the grey power switch have the HR printed in grey. At first glance, the backs appear to be exactly the same. The monitor on the right is the one with the green power switch and you can see that the serial numbers differ greatly, the one on the right being much older, 2,002,360, whereas the one on the left's 2,600,080. So a much, much newer if we're going sequentially by the numbers. Now there is one big difference, and that is that the newer monitor has a underscan switch for 4x3 and 16x9. Obviously, there are going to be some internal differences due to the switch on the back that we saw earlier. There are some cosmetic differences, at least in the PCB. So this monitor we're looking at now is the newer 9044, the one with the grey power switch. And the neck board on the part side is brown, we'll call it. Then when we move to the green switch 9044, we see that the neck board on the part side is a cream color. This harkens back to the BVM before, the one from the 80s, the old one. It too also has a creamy colored neck board and you can see that the PCB here is also a creamy color. But you can see from this example the evolution of the PCBs in their color and the changes that occurred over the years. While we're at it, what we have here are the two 6041 QMs in the family, six inch size monitors, little babies. They too also can have the green power button, as I've already mentioned, but also have a variation on the back. As can be seen here, there are two slide switches, whereas this other version has three slide switches and also has the underscan option of four by three and 16 by nine. While the serial numbers are very close to one another, it's highly likely that I've swapped parts around. So the serial number doesn't necessarily apply anymore because sometimes I've got to do a lot of swapping and switching to fix a monitor. And it makes it difficult with these revisions because the cable that runs from say this board with the two slide switches to this one that has um, three slide switches it might be an extra pin on the cable which doesn't align with the other PCB that the cable fits to. So it makes, makes interchanging things 
harder. That's why I carry the variations here at home so I can attend to the needs of any variations that come along for repair. You can imagine this all so necessitates getting the correct service manual, which is difficult. I'm sure you've all experienced the difficulty in getting service manuals, let alone actually specific ones for revisions of these monitors. So it's not an easy task we have in front of us. There's a Dreamcast hooked up via S-Video to one monitor, then looped to the other monitor. So on identical signals going into both. Now both monitors, both tubes are somewhat worn and the colour balance on both is not good. So one's got a weakness in blue, another's got a weakness in red, so on, so on. This particular model has a lot of bells and whistles. It's got support for composite, S-Video, RGB and component. It's not multi-format. It's not going to do 480p or 576p and upwards. 450 lines in the tube. So it is a quality monitor that will accommodate NTSC and PAL signals. If you are going to get one, I'd recommend looking past the green button, the green button powered type. There's not a, as many of the green button sorts out there. I think the green button was phased out earlier in production. Thus, the balance of probability is that the green button ones are older and probably more likely to be faulty due to age. And that's certainly what I found in my experience accumulating monitors that these green power button ones are more prone to faults and probably due to the age of them. Also keep in mind that this model here and its other members in its family are susceptible to black and white image problems in composite and S video. I've already done a video on that. It's due to faulty trimmer capacitors. Click on the link above to watch the repair for that. That was corrected by Sony at a certain serial number in the range. But if you get one of the green button ones, you're going to get an early model and most likely going to have those bad faulty trimmer capacitors. The 9044 QM was succeeded by the 9045 QM, which is very, very similar. It has a degauss button on the front, which is one change, whereas this monitor in front of us only has auto degauss on power on. Not a huge deal breaker at all, but the 9045 is probably even better to go for. You can see the color difference between the two monitors then. But all in all, still a good monitor. Uses the tube that its predecessors used, its successors used, and Sony used for years and years. So a good quality monitor underneath, but given the age of these things, something to keep in mind when you're hunting down a monitor. Thank you for watching. More to come. See you next time.